Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology. I am at now at Harbourfront Singapore and those are the cable cars going to Sentosa Island. And I am going to Sentosa Island today. The mere mention of Sentosa Island, everybody will be thinking of Universal Studio and the famous Sentosa Island Beach. But I am not today heading to any of these touristic area in Sentosa Island to mark the 81st anniversary of the fall of Singapore. The National Heritage Board of Singapore has organized a month-long program calling it the Battle of Singapore, opening up all the exclusive historical area related to World War II here in Singapore and today I'm heading to one of these destinations, the hidden fort called Fort Connor, situated on the eastern side of Sentosa Island and this fort has been off limit to public since 1878 and we are going to be the first batch of public people to go and visit this special fort. Now the fall of Singapore is still today the largest surrender by the British Empire Army in the history of the British Empire. It marks a significant twist in the world's history. I'm going to take you there to this fort called Fort Connor and before I do that I am going to tell you the history of the fall of Singapore. Now let's go back to 1942. The fall of Singapore, also known as the Battle of Singapore, took place in the Southeast Asian theater of the Pacific War. The Japanese Empire captured the British stronghold of Singapore with fighting lasting from 8 to 15 February 1942. Shortly before 8.30 p.m. on 8 February, the first wave of Japanese troops began crossing the Johor Strait. The main weight of the Japanese force, about 13,000 men from 16 assault battalions with five in reserve, attacked the 22nd Australian Brigade. During the first night, 13,000 Japanese troops landed and were followed by another 10,000 after first light. The Australians numbered just over 3,000 men and lacked of any significant reserve was no match for the Imperial Japanese Army. Throughout the night of the 14th and 15th of February, the Japanese continued to press against the Commonwealth perimeter. Though the line largely held, the military supply situation was rapidly deteriorating. The water system was badly damaged and supply was uncertain. Rations were running low. Petrol for military vehicles was all but exhausted. And there was little ammunition left for the field artillery and anti-aircraft guns. At 9.30 in the morning, Lieutenant General Percival held a conference at Fort Caning with his senior commanders. After a full and frank exchange of views, all present agreed that no counter-attack was possible and Percival opted for surrender. A delegation was selected to go to the Japanese headquarters. They returned with orders that Percival himself proceed with staff officer to the Ford Motor Factory, where Lieutenant General Yamashita, the commander of the Japanese Imperial Army, would lay down the terms of surrender. Thus ended the Battle of Singapore. The capture of Singapore resulted in the largest British surrender in its entire military history. So we've arrived at Santosa. What an interesting ride that was. I think we're in the eastern part of the island, so I'm really not familiar with this part of the island. Um, again, this is a really an exclusive trip and all tickets are sold out for the program. They have the Fort 
Fort Caning program and all the other programs are all sold out and it's all on waiting list at the moment. The tour is about to start, so I'm pretty excited. I think the trail is somewhere here. I'll be surprised. My God, the mosquito is already biting me like crazy. So that was the briefing. They've given us the audio equipment. It's very cute. There's even a medic standing by. This is so well organized. But I'm not supposed to show and block uh, and video the trail. So this is really to avoid, uh, you know, people try to sneak into the site. So I'll see you inside the fort. First, first spot is the old fort wall of Fort Connor. This is really, really sturdy. The ones taken off, but this was the original one that, that kept until today. Yeah. So before Sentosa Island was like a like a playground, it used to be. It was the most heavily militarized place in Singapore. Oh, cool! There were three forts and two gun emplacements. Uh, it's like one kind of and one empty uh, So it's all to prevent enemy ships from. Right. Because it's strategically yes. at the south side of the island. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 So here we are at the observation deck. This is the first stop, uh, well, second stop of the trip. This building is really, really magnificent. There's ventilator, ventilation hole inside. And this is where uh, the British would observe uh, incoming enemies at all time of the day. And I must say, it's really, really perfectly preserved by the forest that has overgrown this entire building. It truly is a sight to behold. It truly is a sight to behold, I would say. And uh, uh, what can I say? It's, they, they are observing towards the sea, which at the end was actually a big mistake. I'll tell you why later on during the tour. Say the door, yeah. they climb up to the door, is it? What do you think they made their way up there? Ladder climb up to the door? <laughs> there used to be steps, staircase, ah. metal, see? that didn't survive. Ah. Yeah. So all of this used, so, sorry, metal metal staircase? Yeah, metal staircase. That goes up to so the... Up there, yeah. Ah. But that metal doesn't survive well in this oh, Of course. Uh, so the whole structure has collapsed and gone really. Ah, so the, the, the staircase will go up to this window or yes, that door? The door, the door. The door there. The ah, I was wondering how they go up yeah. there because it's quite a... Yeah. Quite a height from the ground. Oh. So there used to be a metal yeah, staircase. That's right. Ah. Yeah, but it's all gone now because right. it all rusted off and yeah. fell apart. So it does look a bit weird now. It's like, how is anyone Yeah, gonna how is anybody gonna go up, up there? there right? So there was a there was an air raid uh, in January 1942 and you can still see the scar of the air raid on this observation hall. These are all the the damages that the air raid has done to the observation deck that they tried to bomb Sentosa Island before invasion began. This is the best part of the tour. We get to go down to the basement of the ammunition room. <laughs> There we go, we are about 10 meters well, deep. No network inside. No network inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so scary. Yeah, it's a very wet yeah, You will definitely ruin your shoes. Okay, the one at the top can hold on first. No, I think we're going to hold Yeah, yeah. The rest can take photo and then we can make it all the way out. We just left this tree, eh? It's swampy inside, 
Yeah. Yeah, too bad it's all flooded, but that's really the entrance. Okay, we're gonna make our way up. Oh, holding below. You can make your way down just at the entrance to just get photos. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, too bad it's all flooded because it's been raining, raining and raining here in Singapore. But as you can see, that's the entrance where they put all the ammunition. It's really very in depth. I mean, this is really very interesting. Never have I knew Sentosa was so, so heavily fortified during the war days. Now, I'm going up and we're gonna see the real, real main fort, which is the finale of the tour. So here we are at the center of the fort. This is where all the ammunition is, the 9.2 inch gun, and also the hoisting area. There are spider webs everywhere. The spiders are this huge, but this is it. This is really the best tour ever. Look at this historical place. This fort is really incredible. Super rich history, but, all the guns are pointing at the wrong place because the Japanese did not invade from the sea. They invaded from Johor in the north. And that was a huge undertaking by the British to switch the gun from pointing to the north to point to the south. Okay, I thought the fort is the finale of the trip, but actually the finale is the, uh, there's a powerhouse here so we're gonna head to the powerhouse which is the last leg of this trip so far i'm just stunned and super impressed i mean by the organizing of this tour and also the building the ruins are really really interesting luckily not as many mosquitoes as i imagined over the briefing i was bitten to death but up here it's actually okay It's Nanyang Red. <laughs> Nanyang is a, is a company, it's is a it? company that produces the brick. Oh, yeah. okay. so for example, like there's an Alexandra brick factory. Uh, there's Alexandra and then there's Nanyang. Yeah. There's a few others as well. So Nanyang is the one who produces the brick. <laughs> so Nanyang is the one who produces the brick <laughs> to build this. Oh. After, this the they, <laughs> after this, they make the bricks that build up the HDB. Yeah. Yeah. Go further up if you like to see the war department cables. Oh, okay. oh, cable. oh. Wait, so oh there's a the cable. Done, you Where's the cable? Oh, huh? so look for it. Look for it. Oh, there you go. That's the WD cable. <laughs> so, <laughs> WD stands for War Department. And those are the cables that. Uh, powered the gun and so there you go that was the special tour organized by the heritage national heritage board of singapore of fort uh, connor what a amazing adventure i mean this is so far the best trip the best tour i have ever experienced here in singapore now disclaimer here you cannot you cannot cannot come here uh, all by yourself it is illegal to go into the fort all by yourself because it's a restricted area and I mean this special tour they actually provided a medic for us so safety is everything you cannot visit this fort 
um, you must come here with a special guide and a special tour so you can't come here I, unlike other of my video of the places that I introduced to you but with this video now you have been to Fort Connaught with me yes so thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in more World War II history, here is a video I made of the War Museum of Penang. You can click it right here and support my channel by go to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye from Fort Connaught here in Sentosa Island here in Singapore. Bye!